Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about Ryzen Pi. In this video, we're gonna install Windows on Ryzen Pi 4, and we're gonna go step by step how you can do it, and after, we're gonna check how it's the performance, and how it will work, and if we're gonna have any issue on this installation or in running Windows on Ryzen Pi 4. Why I'm asking issue to run Windows on Ryzen Pi 4? It's because in the previous video, I show how you can install Windows on Raspberry Pi 5. And in that video specifically, we didn't manage to make work the internet. So initially I used the RJ45 here in my internet port, didn't work. And then I go for my USB stick and I connect it for my Raspberry Pi and try to convert. Sometimes they work, but uh, as soon as you start to load it, the internet drop and that's uh, not work. So, I don't know if it's the problem to run Windows on Raspberry Pi or it's specific for the Raspberry Pi 5 because it's a new revision. So, in this way, we're gonna test if it's gonna work and if it's gonna work, how well will work Windows on this Raspberry Pi. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to go to any installation, first thing that you need to have is an external hard drive and a way to connect this external hard drive to your Raspberry Pi. I suggest you to use SSD because the performance will be better, but if you have a hard drive, it will work the same way, a little bit slower. Other thing, you need to have a Raspberry Pi 5 and a proper power supply for this Raspberry Pi. Why I say a proper power supply? Because if you use a low output, you're not going to have the same performance and potentially you're going to have some issues with the performance and other things. So use the correct output for your Raspberry Pi 4. Have this one in mind, what we can do, it's a start to download the installer, start to download the US, and that we can go to flush it in our external hard drive. If I have a look at my screen, here we have a Word project that's called Windows on R. And this one that you're gonna use should do the installation for Windows on our Raspberry Pi. So first of all, we need to get started to do this installation. So if I click Get Start, in this page, it will allow you to download the installer if you use Windows or any other iOS. In my case, I'm using Windows, so we're gonna click Windows. Here they will explain everything that you need to know, but first thing that you need to have in mind is you need to download the Windows installer for Raspberry Pi and after the US. So first, we're gonna click here for Windows installer and that they will give different options. They tell you what kind of SSD that you can use or what kind of a hard drive that you can use. But in this case, we're gonna click here, download revision 2.3.1. If you are looking in the future, maybe we'll have a new revision, but in my case will be this revision. Now I can come here and click to download if they didn't start and I will download this zip file for my computer. In my case I already download, so I don't need to download again. I will cancel it and close this page. Next thing that we need to download is the Windows image. So we'll click here, get Windows image. Once that they click here, they will give me two options to download. First one, you can go for this US dump and that here you can download the revision that you want. But then you need to search between a lot of different revisions and make your filter, what sometimes is not the best way. So in this way, we're gonna use this ESD image download tool, that will be the easiest one. And here we can select everything that you want. First, it's revision of Windows that I want to install. In my case, I will select Windows 11. I could potentially select Windows 10 and potentially could be a better performance but I will select Windows 11 to compare against of Raspberry Pi 5. Other thing, I will select what build that I want. I will select the latest one, at least will avoid too much updates. And here the architecture. Remember, you are using Raspberry Pi, so you must use an ARM system. If you use a 64 bits, you're not gonna work unless you want to install a proper computer. So I will put ARM, and I come here for select what edition that I want. I can select as a client or enterprise. I'll select enterprise only because I can. 
only they say for a client include edition like home profession etc so if you want to use a home profession etc you go for a client in my case i will put enterprise and i select what language that i want to install in my case i will put english and i will come here to download my image one thing that observe if i put to download my antivirus for any reason they stop the download so what i can do i can put right click save link as and that's i will be able to download because i read download one time i don't need to download again so i'll cancel it and now i can go for my download file here my download location i have two files first one it's the zip for the installer and the second one will be my windows so if i unzip this file here in this folder i have a lot of information but what i want to install it's uh, this one so i'll double click in this option and i allowed it and once that allowed i have this windows on Raspberry pi so first thing i need to select what language that i want i'll put next i select what device that i want to install so because i don't have yet this device i need to connect now it once that i connect now i have two hard drive or two disk disk zero and disk one disk zero will be my operating system so i cannot touch it and disk one will be the one that i want to install windows so take care because both is exactly the same size so once that you come here you need to select the correctly one didn't appear the second one because i just connected and this page was there so i can click refresh and now i can see my two disks in my case i will select this second disk the one that i want to install because my samsung is running my operating system and don't want to delete anything we make sure that uh, the hard drive that you insert it's free of data because they will format it and all the data will be lost now the next stage you need to select what device that you're going to use in my case i use raspberry pi 4 so we'll select raspberry pi 4 they will show this page i will put ok and now i can put next i will select what us that I install so i will come here and select the file the same one that i just download and then they will give some options for me to choose i will leave exactly the same because i decided to load enterprise and i put next once that i put next they will appear this page for me to accept it if i put decline they will not work one thing that is strange they say for windows 10 and now i'm installing windows 11 i don't believe that is an issue but uh, only have in mind that uh, they didn't update yet specific for windows 11 i'll put accept here will be the storage that I'm using. Here will be the type of device that uh, you will install everything for this device. And here the open system and all the rest of the information. So now I can come here and put install. This part of install will take some time because they will format my hard drive. They will install everything. And that once that is ready, they will show the option for close. Once that the installation is completed, you can remove this external hard drive for your computer and then you can insert your Raspberry Pi. Only thing that you need to have in mind is that you need to use the port 3.0, the blue color, because the performance will be better. If you use the 2.0, the speed will be limited and we don't want to do it. Other thing that I'm not going to do in this first stage is uh, insert my RJ45. This is because I want to make sure that the windows 11 it's start as offline and i can set up a local user i don't want to link for my hotmail account or my properly uh, outlook account at this stage but later i will do if the system work quite well and then i will connect to the power and wait to start remember this first stage you don't need to do anything when it will take a long long time this because they will process everything and that uh, will get ready the system different from your raspberry pi 5 the raspberry pi 4 will take much longer time i think that raspberry pi 5 take around 5 10 minutes the raspberry pi 4 will take around 20 minutes to start so let's wait to start once that this system is start we can go for the next stage if you start to see this screen for a long time, don't worry, it's because they still processing all the data. You know that uh, it's work when we're gonna see the next page. You know that the installation work because it will appear this page and this page you need to set up your windows. So first thing they will ask, 
what country I will select unit kingdom and then I will put yes after this they will ask the keyboard so we'll use unit kingdom again and I will put yes they ask if I want to add another one I will put skip for now because I don't have internet they will try to look connect for my internet and they say you don't have connection so I'll put yes I wanted to proceed without internet because I want to install offline and now again they will say you really want to install offline I say yes now they ask me to accept the terms condition or accept and I will set up my offline user so it will be server lab I will set up my password again I'll repeat my password and I will answer three security questions in my case we'll put on A for everything because it doesn't matter the security questions because I will not use these windows forever and now they will give the page and now they will give the page for agreement and terms conditions I can select anything you choose what you prefer I'll say no for everything and sometimes I will put yes and that's it once that you set up everything they will say hi and now all your system start to get ready this stage will take some minutes as well to start my windows but I will know that it start once that I can see my windows page so now let's wait a little bit more to see this page once that your system start you're gonna have this page one thing that we can observe different from the Raspberry Pi 5 now you have access to the internet so what I did after I finished the installation and connect my J45 and then I can directly have access to the internet it's a good thing it but we don't know if it's really gonna work or not before we start to do anything let's start with our task manager and see how much of my CPU is currently in use so if I look my CPU usage is quite low if I come here for my performance I can see that it's my Raspberry Pi 4 CPU with 1.5 gigahertz I have only 3 gigabytes of RAM memory I have my internet connection and I have my hard drive use what I can do now I can come and start a YouTube video only to check the performance for it so if I open my browser I go to youtube.com and once that load my video one thing that I observe it's quite a lot of laggings if I come here for my settings I'm not using at all the 4k resolution I think that's 720p if I try to increase the resolution for 4k and I open my task manager to see how is the performance I believe that it will be 100% and that will not run so well one thing that it's interesting yes Windows work on Raspberry Pi and if I use the Raspberry Pi 4 they work quite well but it's not uh, enough hardware to run Windows 11 maybe if I run Windows 10 they will get a little bit better performance but it's still with uh, Windows 11 and the Raspberry Pi 4 is too low performance and too slow potentially you can say that's because you just install Windows this could be the issue but if you look try to run a 4k video they buffer quite a lot they have uh, quite lots of issues and that uh, if you try to do the same thing using a Linux base on the Raspberry Pi they will not have the same issues if I come here my performance now my CPU usage will be 100% my run memory I still have some time and my internet it's going quite a good usage but it's not maximum at the moment so if I think I cannot use properly the Raspberry Pi 4 as a machine device either that I use SSD either that I use a RJ45 connection you still not good to do some basic applications you cannot play YouTube you cannot do some basic work because the hardware is not there so definitely Raspberry Pi 5 it's the best option but it's not yet in the level or don't have enough updates to run Windows in this way so it's better to wait than you try to run a system that is not good enough for your applications because if you wanted to run video you cannot do it if you want to use Excel Word potentially can do it but it will be quite slow so in this way we arrive at the end of the video I hope that you guys like this video and if you like don't forget to leave your like 
consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet and see you next time bye